Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, in his out, in between us, welcome back. Warrington's Labour-run council was pissed all over the memory of the fallen after they called police over an unofficial Remembrance Sunday gathering attended by politicians from both Labour and Conservative parties, including the council leader. The council said it had called police over a large gathering at the town's cenotaph on Sunday, which went ahead despite restrictions being in place. Hundreds of people are said to have attended the event, including Conservative MP Andy Carter, senior Labour councillors and members of the Cheshire Police. The council's Labour leader, Russ Bowden, and deputy leader, Cathy Mitchell, were also at the event, along with Wendy Maisie, Warrington's Conservatives chairwoman, who slammed the council for grassing them all up, accusing them of scraping the bottom of the barrel by involving police. Well, you see, this is what you get when government and police beg people to turn against each other by becoming collaborators. Government guidelines issued when the lockdown began said that Remembrance Sunday events could go ahead if they were organised by councils or faith leaders. A council spokesman said the unofficial event that took place had led to concerns and it therefore contacted Cheshire Police to ascertain how the event was organised without prior notice and to identify what COVID secure measures were in place. And now, considering that you have to ask the council to look at your COVID secure plans for any event anyway, you would think that as council leaders were there, they would be adhering to it. Labour councillors, Mr Bowden said, he had been walking past and stood with members of the public while Ms Mitchell was laying a wreath for her, for her parish council. Another MP said that he had not been part of the event which had been staged by well-meaning people who tried to step into the space created by the council's decision not to stage an event. However, he said he believed the event didn't comply with the rules. Now, there's no evidence that I've been able to see that it didn't comply with the rules. And for clarification, that doesn't mean that I think it did comply, just without evidence that it didn't, and only one MP saying that he thinks it didn't, doesn't mean that it didn't. I mean, what is it with these people taking away our personal rights and now trying to prevent us from celebrating the fallen who died for us to have those rights. Thank you to all channel supporters, especially these guys who support via Patreon. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.